coffee with Deanne. I just bought a new mug. I went to the island last week just for a drive and there was a pottery show uh, downtown above the, the beanery, the coffee, the coffee place there. And I just love it. It has a leaf imprinted on it and I love the color. So I thought, oh, well, you know, we should change mugs. Not only change, I shouldn't just change my outfits. I should change my mugs once in a while on Coffee with Deanne. The thing that Megan just noticed is that the mug matches my rug. I'm just going to lay it down there. You can see it does. And I think what happens is, is when we're really immersed in a project, we really get um, lost in the color of that project and we're attracted to things around it. So like, it's sort of like a kind of a natural law of attraction really, isn't it? Like you, you, you're working with these colors because you like these colors, but then you see other things in those colors and they're all brought together. So before I talk about uh, anything else, I just want to talk about Mother's Day was yesterday. And I'm just not like a Mother's Day lover. I don't know. Um, I never was, even when my own mom was alive and my mother-in-law was alive. I just always felt a lot of pressure. And um, and it's just like it's, it's like there's pressure to have a great day. <laughs> and you know, you just can't, it's not always easy. Like a great day might be Monday, it might be Tuesday, it might not be that day. And uh, I always find it kind of a stressful day. So, um, that's my take on Mother's Day. I'm curious what other people's take is on it. Like I just, I just always kind of find it a little bit artificial. Like shouldn't we be celebrating mothers every day of the year? Like mothers are just so good. They give up so much and they love so much. Shouldn't we notice it all the time? That's what comes to my mind. But anyway, I hope that, I hope that you don't feel the way that I feel about it really, that you just had a great day. Megan said that she just took over her Mother's Day herself and bought herself some presents and went out to brunch with her daughter and like that kind of made sense you know just to sort of take back Mother's Day <laughs> and make it your own. Um, what I'm doing today is I'm here anxious kind of because I want to finish this rug. It's a really big project and I've been working on it for a long time and but I can't like I can't possibly physically finish this project today because it is just too big and but yet I have this drive in me to get it done because I want to move to the next project, right? And I have, I have ideas of what, we're, what I'm going to do next. All of these small framed rugs that are out there just waiting for me. And so this one, as much as I love it, is becoming less important because I've been taking pictures and sharpening, sharpening them and fixing them up for some landscapes. And I want to, I want to get to that. It's not that I don't love this anymore. I do. I still love it. But it's like, oh, be done. I want it to be done. And there's that mystery of finishing something. When you're looking at it panel by panel, you don't know what it's like. And I, I just want to complete this mystery, what it's going to be like. Because that's what finishing a rug is like when you can't see the whole thing. It's like completing a mystery. Get working. Bye.